This morning we're going to have a look at the Red Arrow drone, which I got a couple of days ago. Okay, these are the chargers that came with it. This is to charge the remote control. And this charger is to charge the battery. It has a USB lead that comes out of it as well, which plugs into the FPV screen to charge the battery in the FPV screen up. The remote control has a 5000 milliamp hour battery in it, which is quite large. This is the battery. And this is the drone. It folds up. I will unfold it. Lock the legs into place. Install the battery. And we're ready to go. Right, well, let's have a look at the drone transmitter or remote control. Right, this is the on off button to power it on, to hold on. This is the power button for the FPV screen. And this is the button to turn the drone on, turn the battery on, and the drone arms itself automatically. You can see a bit of a picture on the FPV screen. There's quite a bright light in front. And at the back, a green light, which turns to red when you fly backwards or break. There's an on-off button to power the motors. You hold down for a couple of seconds, the motor's on. There's an automatic takeoff button. Power that down. This is the automatic takeoff button. This is the auto land button. I must admit I don't use these. And this is the video feed button. It took me a while to work out what this one was. Because the manual is very, very basic. Top right, top left, sorry, is the rate buttons, beginner, intermediate and advanced. Beginner mode is very, very docile. Intermediate and advanced are far more fun to fly in. But beginner is very, very good for learning to fly FPV, which is basically what I bought this from. I'll power the drone off now and we'll take it for a test flight when the wind drops off a bit. Okay, I'm here at our local park. I'm going to give the Red Arrow a test flight and start off by turning the drone on. Turn the remote on. Actually, Things on and turn the FPV screen on. Right, press the lock unlock button, which should arm it, which it has, and we're good to go.
flying fairly early morning. As you can see, the red light comes on when we're reversing or we brake. And when you're going forward, the green light goes on. In the description of the drone on the internet, which had very, very little information, it said it has headless mode. Well, I can't find headless mode, and just as well, I actually don't like flying in headless mode. It flies in normal orientation, as you can see. This is beginner mode. Step it up to intermediate mode. Does not beep or anything. And here you've got a bit more power. And now we'll put it up into advanced mode. A lot more power. Take it back to beginner mode. Get some video. has altitude hold, which is quite useful for when you're taking video. Let's try a still picture. In advanced mode, I've noticed it doesn't have altitude hold. So that's one way of turning altitude hold off. That's quite a good punch. Quite powerful. As soon as you switch back into beginner mode, altitude hold kicks in again. Final words, very, very well built little quadcopter drone, uh, superb quality and not too, many, not too much I can actually say against this one. Thanks for watching.